hello guys welcome back to the share tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix fifa 22 is having crashing issue it is not launching or won't launch freezing and stuttering low fps drop stuck on loading screen and black screen issue which is happening to many of the users even after one year so uh, we did a lot of research and we have added few steps which is going to fix the issue up so you can try this out so let's move to the workaround the first one is all about we have to do a simple restart on a pc or laptop that is what you have to try out for that we have to go over here in the search go to this icon over here go for the restart after restart is successfully done just try to play the game this is the start step which you have to try out this is an initial step this might work you in most of the cases so uh and if this is not working don't get panicked we have many more steps down the road so let's move to the next one next one is all about we have to verify integrity of game file for that we have to click over here in the fifa 22 right click and go to properties go to local file as you can see there is an option called verify integrity of game file so just click on this one so what happens is if any files are missed and if any files are corrupted and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step so as you can see that the game is around 44.07 gb and it is stored on local dc this is going to take a little bit of time but it is quite fine that is going to work for you so verify integrity of game file is going to fix a lot of trouble issues like if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing all these kind of issues are fixed by this particular step and you can try this out next one let this get completed so once it is done you just have to play the game so we will move to the next step Next step is all about we have to launch the game from the installation folder. So most of the case you're trying to launch the game from the Steam. So that is might be an issue as well. So we have to launch the game from the installation folder. So we need to know where is the game is installed. So there are two methods. One, we can very easily navigate to the installation folder from the Steam itself. Next one is by going through the file explorer. So I'll show you both. The first one, just right click and go to properties. Now go to local file. If you click on browse, you are very easily redirected to the installation folder. If you look at the top, that is this PC, local DC, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common FIFA 2022. That means we are on the installation folder. So this is an easiest way. The same way you can navigate to uh, via file explorer, which I'll show you later. So which, which is required, we can we can all, all the time do not depend on the Steam itself. We need to know how to navigate to the installation folder using file explorer, which is an important step over here. So from here, just go to the application and we have to launch the game. And this is what you have to do. Just launch the game from here instead of Steam. And that is going to work for you as well. Next one is all about we have to uh, run the game as an administrator so i'll show you this from here itself for that what we need to do is we just need to click over here now go to show more option go to properties now from here navigate to compatibility now from here click on run this program as an administrator now go for apply and go for ok and launch the game this did work for many of the users and we found this step from the reddit as well as in the quora and even in the steam community forum many users shared this there is a few more steps which mentioned by some users but for some it didn't work for some it worked so i'm going to share it over here it's like a bonus you can try this out uh, try this out as well that is just click on uh, we have to run the game on compatibility mode for that we have to click over here go to show more options and go to properties now from here compatibility now from here click on run uh run under the compatibility mode click on run this program in compatibility mode and go for apply and we have to go for okay after this uh see whether that's going to fix the issue but if this is not working but after trying for this as well for some users is made a lot of trouble so if that is the case and if you feel so you just have to remove this for that just go to the same properties go to compatibility over here on this program in the compatibility mode it should be uh changed if this is on windows 7 you can try with windows 7 or windows 8 try both so after trying if it's still not working then just remove this i mean you have to uncheck this and only keep run this program as an administrator and go for apply and go for ok then just try to play the game as well this is what you have to do next one is all about we have to change the language i mean we have to change the windows language uh for which is quite important as well for uh that is you need to change the language to english if you are trying to play uh it with any other native 
for that we have to go over here in the search now from here we have to go to settings now from here what we need to do is we just need to go over here now go to time and language from here you have to check the language and region over here if you are in any other native language for example some users might be playing uh maybe using germany some might be depending on their native language on the geographical condition so you have to select the language to english if you don't know how to select it just click on add language just follow the instruction add your respective one that means you have to set this to english and that is what you have to try as well and once it is done with this one you just have to close this and we have to play the game as the next one next one is all about we have to go over here on the steam uh, and from here you just have to launch the game but while launching the game you have to press alt and tab together on the keyboard this did work for many users you have to press alt and tab on the keyboard so uh, this did work for many users i don't know how but when uh, many users this helped them you can try this out as well let's move to the next step next step is all about we have to delete the saved game file some users you know when they deleted it work it for that go over here in the explorer go to documents over here as you can see you have to find you will be able to find fifa 2022 so just go to fifa 22 over here and delete it so if it's already saved so you'll be losing some uh, things over there that is fine with it but just delete it and once you're done with this one just close this and go back and try to play the game as well next one is all about we have to allow the game to window security for that we have to go over here in the search now from here go to uh, not over here just go to control panel now from here go to windows defender firewall now from here go to alone app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here we have to navigate to fifa 2022 so hence it is an alphabet just scroll down and you can see the fifa 22 is already added and keep in mind the private and public both should be checked here the private is unchecked so you have to uh, sorry that is for farming simulator so both should be checked and if you don't know how to add it or if a game is not available available here we can add it manually and if that is the question just click allow another app go for browse now that is why i said we need to know how to navigate to the installation folder using the file explorer i mean navigate to via via local disk so from here go to local disk because all the game downloaded from the steam by default is downloaded here so just open this now from here navigate to program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam folder now from here go to steam apps now from here go to common now from here go to fifa 2022 now from here select this one that is application so just go for save so uh, once open it and go for add so here once it is added you can see that it is already added so this is actually not fifa this is f122 so i got mistaken so this is how we can add it manually if that is not available so i added it manually uh, so this is how we can add it and once added make sure the private and public should be checked as well next one is all about we have to just we just have to uh, mark both the things that is f122 and over here you just have to do the same and once it has been set you just have to close this and go back and try to play the game as well next one is all about when try to play the game especially the fifa 22 will be played on uh, controllers so those users who are trying to play what they need to do they just need to disconnect everything for means in the sense you have to disconnect controllers you have to disconnect any other things already connected over here in the usb ports you have to uh, remove everything launch the game if you're trying to play the game with controllers once you launch the game connect it back launch the game and once you launch the game you have to connect it back then it will be smooth enough and this is what you have to try so this did work for many users you can try this out as well next one is all about we have to roll back the drivers that is not roll back first we need to update the driver for that i'll be giving few links in the description which will take you to over here on the nvidia as well as on the amd so uh you need to update the driver manually nvidia users i'll be providing uh, links in the description so you just need to update it as well for the amd users they have to download this as well i mean follow the instructions and do the same so here in my case it is nvidia so i have to go to this link and i have to go to drivers over here now i just have to, i'll be landing on this page now from here i have to select the geoforce if it is geoforce so the respective series in my case it is uh, 40 series and i have to select the product type that is this one and i have to select the operating system as you can see i'm in windows 11 so if you're on windows 10 select this one if you're on windows 11 select this one and once it is done just go for start search 
and once it is done you have to go through the version that is 531.18 and the release date is 2023 that means it is released on the very recently that is 28th of uh, February it got released and you have to download this one and install it so if you go to the AMD over here as you can see you have to select respective one now from here if you're on the AMD you have to submit it as well now from here we have to go to Windows 11 over here you have to download this one and if you're on Windows 10 you have to download this one as well so uh, download both the things it's according to you you have to download and install it and once you download and install this one uh, you just have to uh, restart the PC as well as and try to play the game and that is going to work for you so installing the graphics card to the latest versions did work out for many users and you can try out this as well and this did work out so that is an important step we have to make sure and next one is all about we have to perform a clean boot for that we have to go over here in the search over here and we have to go for a uh, system configuration now go to services you have to search for system configuration in the search and you will be getting like this go to service now from here we have to go for disable all but keep in mind you have to select hide all microsoft services and you have to for me it is disabled but this will not be the case for you it will be enabled i mean uh, you'll be getting this it will not be grayed out so just go for disable all once after that just go for apply and go for okay sometimes it might ask for a restart if it is asking for a restart just go for a restart then try to play the game and that is going to work for you as well next one is we need to disable the steam overlay for that reason we have to go over here go to properties under general make sure that this is uh, enabled so if it is unchecked that means it is disabled you have to uncheck this and uh, once it is done you just have to close this and you have to try to play the game as well next one is all about we have to close overlay applications and overclocking application that is both is important because they drain out a lot of performance and they are causing the issue so what we need to do is just go over here in the start right click and go to task manager now from here we have to go at the top now over here as you can see this code geoforce experience and all these are overlay applications okay so if you find this over here just delete i mean end the task okay one by one so if you find geoforce experience you have to do the same but this will not be the case for some users you know uh, overlay applications will be running in the background like msi afterburner uh, afterburner river tuner etc so what they need to do is they just have to if you find it over here if you find msi afterburner and all those things you have to definitely you just have to end it up because it is going to make a lot of trouble so do the same and just close this and once after that try to play the game because um, these overlay and overclocking applications make a lot of issue so you can try this out as well next one is all about we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card for that we have to go over here in the search and we have to go for search for graphics settings now from here you will be getting an option like this from here we need to add the game so here i have already added many games and you have to do the same so for that we have to go over here i think it's already added but i'll show you how to add it if it's not already there just click on browse now from here go to this pc go to local disk c that is what you have to do when you go for local disk c just click over here now from here go to program file x86 scrolling down and navigate to steam folder now from here go to steam apps now from here go to common now from here go to fifa 22 you have to select this one and you have to add it so it's, it is already added so once you add it just go over here in the option just click over here and make sure that by default this is let windows decide you have to change this to high performance change this to high performance and go for save and once you save this that is an important step which you have to try out once you step this you have to move to the next one that is you have to close this as well okay then try to play the game as well we need to move to the next step next step is all about we have to increase virtual memory and uh, we have to move to the next one next one is all about we have to increase uh, the uh, i mean we have to increase the virtual memory for that reason we have to go over here in the search we need to go over here in the view advanced system setting now from here we have to go to advanced we need to go to settings now from here we have to go to advanced once again we have to go to change option now from here under the virtual memory we need to select the local disk where the game is installed so here over here in my case it is local disk c so i have to select this one 
So if it is, uh, make sure this is unchecked. If this is checked, we'll not be able to select the local disk. So select the local disk where the game is installed over here. And once it is done, we just have to go to the custom size and we have to give the initial size as well as maximum size. So for that, we need to do the calculation. So we need to know first, what is my RAM? So I know my RAM that is 32 GB, but if you don't know how to find it, I'll show you. Just go over here in the settings. Now from here, go to system. Now keep scrolling down and navigate to about. Now from here, go to 32 GB. So 32 GB is my RAM. So 32 GB is, is what it is. So you have to select this one. Now from here, I knew that my RAM is. So you have to do the same. So you'll be getting to know what is your RAM. Now, once it is done, you just have to go over here in the search. We need to do the calculator. So we need to do is 32 GB is my RAM and I have to multiply it with 1024. That is 32,768. Now I have to multiply it with 1.5 because maximum size is 1.5 times the total RAM. So I have to paste it over here. Now we have to do the calculation for the maximum size that is three times the total RAM. So first we need to do the calculation. So first multiply your RAM into 1024. This is a constant value, so don't worry. So now you have to multiply this answer into three. That is 98,304. So you have to paste it as well. And once it is done, you just have to go for OK. And that is what you have to do. And once it is done, you just have to close everything, restart and try to play the game as well. This is what about how to increase virtual memory. Next one is we need to update the windows. For that reason, we have to go over here in the search, go to settings. Now from here, go to windows update and we need to update the windows as well. And that is what you have to do as well. You have to update the windows. Next one is all about just make sure you have to update. So here. Uh, I'm having some trouble, so I have to install few th things are there. So we here in the middle of videos, so I'm going to skip this. But for you, make sure it is on up to date and you have to do it. Next, close this and we have to move to the next step. That is all about we have to uninstall and reinstall the game. For that, we have to go over here, select the game, right click and go to manage and uninstall the game. So when you're reinstalling back, keep in mind, you should not be installing the game back on local disk C you have to install it back on any other drive. So if you're, uh, for me, I'm only having local disk, which is of one TB. So uninstalling and reinstalling on the same will be an issue. So we have to uninstall it. And this is what you have to do. And you have to install it back on any other uh, different drive. So try this out. There is one more step, which I forget. That is all about. We need to install Microsoft Visual C++. So I'll be providing a link in the description. So uh, what you need to do is you just have to go to Microsoft Visual C++. So just download it. So I'll be providing this link. And from here, you need to download the respective one. So first we need to know what is your system type. For that, we have to go over here in the search. We need to go to settings. Now from here, we need to go to system at the top, scroll down and navigate to about. Now from here, what we need to do is we just need to do like this. Uh, we have to make sure there is over here, as you can see, this is 64 bit x64 processor. So I have to close this. Now, what I need to do is I just have to go back over here and I have to download the x64. I have to download this one. So once after this, I have to download and install. After this, I have to uh, play the game. And this is what I have to do. So these are the possible workarounds that you have to try out. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.